is, what's a kid going to learn from someone who decided his best option in life was to become a teacher? And he reminds the other dinner guests that it's true what they say about teachers. Those who can do, those who can't teach. I decided to write my tongue instead of his and resist the temptation to remind the dinner guests that it's also true what they say about the lawyers. Because we're eating after all, and this is polite company. I mean, you're a teacher, he says. Be honest. What do you make? And I wish he hadn't done that. Ask me to be honest, because you see, I have a policy about honesty and ass kicking. If you ask for it, I'm going to have to let you have it. <laughs> Carl A. Manager once said, What the teacher is, is more important than what he teaches. Look around. Everybody in this room today is who they are today because of the teachers they once had, the lessons they've imparted unto us, and the inspirations they provide. Those who can teach a program in education by various forms. If you want to know what I make, I make kids work harder than they ever thought they could. I can make a C plus feel like a Congressional Medal of Honor and an A minus feel like a slap in the face. I make kids sit for 40 minutes of study hall in absolute silence. I make parents tremble in fear when I call home. Hi, this is Mr. Molly. I hope I haven't called at a bad time. I just wanted to talk to you about something your son said today. To the biggest bully in the grave, he said, leave the kid alone. I still cry sometimes. Don't you? It's no big deal. And that was the noblest act of courage I've ever seen. I made parents see their children for who they are and what they can be. Did I miss anything? Nothing. None of the content of this course has value or meaning. Take as many days off as you'd like. Any activities we undertake as a class, I assure you, will not matter either to you or to me and are without purpose. Everything. Contained in this classroom is a microcosm of human experience, assembled for you to examine and query and ponder. This is not the only place such an opportunity has been gathered, but it was one place, and you weren't there. It's Lily Wilson on my office door. Lily Wilson, a recovering like addict, the worst I've ever seen. So like bad, the whole eighth grade started calling her like Lily, like Wilson, like. I declared my classroom a light-free zone. She could not speak for days. But what she finally did, it was to say, this is so hard, and now I have to think before I say it. Imagine that, Lily. It's for your own good, even if you don't like it. <laughs> Lily is writing a research paper for me about how homosexuals shouldn't allow, should be allowed to adopt children. She's having trouble finding sources, which are to say ones that back her up. They all argue in favor of what I thought I was against. And it took four years of college, three years of graduate school, and every incidental teaching experience I've ever had to let out only, well, that's a very interesting problem, Lily, but what do you propose to do about it? Well, that's what I want to know. And, and the eighth grade mind is a beautiful thing. Like a newborn baby's face, you can often see it change before your very eyes. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I want to switch sides. And I want to tell her to do more than just believe it, but to enjoy it. Oh, God, Billy, I want to say that you make me feel like a teacher. And who could ever ask to feel more than that? I want to say all of this, but I'm adding it only, Lily, I am, like, so impressed with you. So if I could talk something, something, maybe we have to change their mind. And I learned in the process that if I'm ever, I'm ever going to change the world, it's going to be one eighth grader at a time. Have you ever seen a Viking ship? made out of popsicle sticks and balsa wood, coils of brown thread for ropes, 16 oars made out of chopsticks, and a red and yellow sail made from a ripped piece of a little, little baby brother's footy pajamas? I have. So here's what I want the class to do. I want you to build me a miniature Viking ship. You have a month to complete this assignment. You can use whatever materials you want, but you must all work together, like warriors. These are the projects that are known for the history teacher, like the Great Shield Project or the Marshmallow Cattle Project, or the Medieval Castle of Chocolate Cake. No, actually, that one was a total failure. But there was the Egyptian Pyramid Project. Have you ever seen a family of four standing around a car table after dinner, each one holding one triangular side of a miniature cardboard Egyptian pyramid until the blue cry came from? Well, I haven't either, but Mrs. Steinberg said that it took 90 minutes, and even with the little brother on one side saying, this is a stupid pyramid, Tony! If I get Mr. Molly next year, my pyramid will be designed in such a way that it will not necessitate us standing here for 90 minutes while the blue cries! <laughs> and, and Tony on the other side saying, shut up! Shut up! You idiot! If you let go before the blue cries, I will disavow you with your Sony PlayStation! <laughs> it was the best family time they spent 
together since last time. <laughs> Teachers make a goddamn difference. Now, what about you? 